Hey, this is Fee, Diamond in the Rough. And, okay, this is the blank custom that I'm going to work on. Um, this, I have unboxed this canvas previously and it is not the full length. So this should have been 80 by 120 wide. Contacted the seller. Had lots of fun contacting the seller. Um, and I'm not sure whether I've posted, I, I think I, I have put it on my fortnightly blog. Uh, however, this is where I'm gonna do my bit of a rant. So just hang on a sec. And I'm actually, <laughs> Can I say this? I'm getting sick of ranting. And, uh, okay, where's my messages? Hang on. Struggle with this. Without my messages. Okay. So I contacted the company and turned around and said, canvas size not 180 by 120 rather well. Um, and I said, do I need to open a dispute with, can you please advise me why I did not get the correct length? Do I need to open a dispute with AliExpress? Dear friend, you don't. So I sent a picture um, of just the measuring. Oh, the camera is so far up, just of the tape. Um, yeah, I've had to put the camera up so you can see the whole canvas. Um, so yeah, I got a response back going, Dear friend, you don't need to open the dispute. It is normal for the canvas to have a small error. She put smile. The canvas is machine generated, so there will be minor errors, but it will not affect your normal use of canvas. So I responded back, Dear friend, 20 centimetres is not one or two centimetres in fluctuation as per your listing. This is too much of a difference to accept. This is a blank canvas for a picture that I've turned into a diamond paint with drills ordered to put on canvas that is 120 by 80. The size of this will affect my normal use of the canvas. I wait for your response on what you will do to correct this or in 24 hours I'll raise a dispute and request for a refund. She comes back and goes, within 24 hours, we can remail a blank canvas of 80 by 120. Uh, Hi Lisa, thank you for your understanding. Confirm that it will be 80 by 120 in size. Can you please, and there are no response. Can you please advise tracking number and once that has been received, I'll confirm if it's received. Still no response. Can you please advise me if the status of the replacement canvas, can you please advise me of the status of the replacement canvas tracking number within 24 hours? We got a response back, yes, we will mail you the correct canvas as soon as possible, 80 by 120. In a few days, we will send you a logistics tracking number. So they are sending me a new one. Um, I will say that I think I've still got 20, 22 days to go of... Um, 20, I've got 22 days left of um, my protection. So um, keeping an eye on that. If I don't receive a tracking number, and I will say a valid tracking number, because I will put the tracking number into 17 track. If it comes up as unknown, I know it's a false tracking uh, you know, I have a feel. I'll have a feeling that it's a false tracking number. But, um, and I'll get straight back to them on that day. Um, cause, and, and every time from now on, if I have to communicate with these guys, I will turn around and say to them, yeah, I'll just, I'll put, I'll, care, I'll put the dispute in and request full refund. So this actually is just, so it is from the AZQSD, which is the Huacan sister company or whatever. But that being said, to do, I will eventually get, what will happen is I will get a new canvas. It will be the one, <laughs> it should be 180 by 120. And if that's the case, then I will do 
the one that I was originally going to do, which means I've got a canvas for free. And this one here, which is 98, I think I worked out 98 centimetres, I will modify the picture in. And I've already worked it out and said, yep, I can do that. So I'll show you what I've done there. Um, drills. This is actually, I have three of these. Um, this is um, from my stack of spares. What I have done is, I'll go from here. From the computer generated program I used, you get a thread chart. Um, if it will, hang on, if I can get it to work properly. So it gives you a thread, uh, under thread count, well it does, it gives you a thread count because it's a cross stitch pattern. But it gives you the symbols, the DMC number, what the actual colour is called and how many required. So what I did with that, I used my label maker, I cut the symbols up and then you can actually see like the labels are on there with the symbol, the DMC number, and the name of the colour. Um, just, I, it's actually quite nice to actually see what the colours are at called. Like this one, the triple three, which is one of my favourites. And if you actually have a DMC book, one of those coding books, hang on. Still not going to zoom it, there we go. It's a dark blue violet. So what I've got is, in these three trays, is, I'll put that back in, there, I have all my leftover drills, um, with which um, the trays actually, I needed more than two trays to fit them all in. And what I did do is, so my spares are now, with those codes are now in there. I've also looked at the quantity required for each of the ones that I don't have. And I've made a storage container. I've labelled the containers up in preparation for when my deals do arrive. Um, the last thing that I saw was that they were in Melbourne. Uh, less than a week ago, so going through customs. I expect to see it in a couple of days. I won't. I believe it won't be far away, which is why I'm starting on this now. I was at the point of just waiting until I get to get the drills, but I know they're only a couple of days away. So I will fill this when those drills arrive. I will say I won't need all of the drills. I will have lots of leftovers because I'm not doing a full um, size diamond painting that I ordered. So, what I have done, and I will bring this camera down eventually. What I have done is, okay, now, <laughs> knocking things over. Right, what I have done, I'll just show you a couple. I've actually made the 10 by 10 squares. I have actually gone along and counted them and I've done my cuts per square. Because when you work on a blank canvas, I believe if you open up too much, um, you just, I, I think I'll get overwhelmed by it. So I've worked out that's going across. What I need to do now is actually do it going along the side. So I'll do that process here um, now and share that with you so you can see what I did. I did the long side first um, but I will take you through this process. So the light pad is required. So is a couple of clamps because it's so big it's just going to roll off the desk. Hang on. 
Oh, lovely headshot. At least my hair's brushed. <laughs> brushed and up in a bun. Okay. I have a curve on my desk, as you can see. I always end up bending my canvases. The ones I like, well, bend them, it's my own fault. My own issue, not anybody else's. Okay. I'm gonna, sorry, I've got to try and get my mouse out from under here. Get it to where I can use it. Now, so what I'm going to do is zoom you down. So bear with me while I muck around here and get you to a better position. Um, and exacto knife. Where is it? I cleared everything off my desk and now I can't find anything. <laughs> Back in a sec. Okay, I found it. Metal ruler. So what I have done, and I will actually show you the canvas paper, which I can't lift off this corner. I just want to lift this up so gently so I don't put the glue up. Holy cow. Okay. So what you see is the canvas, do it from the other side, hang on up, hang on up, you need to do it from the other, from the bottom, well it doesn't really matter what the fucking top and bottom is, that's it. right, try again. Canvas did come the the tape the the opaque cover was I'll do it this way it's probably a bit easier there we go is in only in ten centimetre strips which makes it a lot easier when coming to work with it so they're all in ten centimetre strips. What I do have, so here we go, bringing you down and hopefully close enough. You can actually see um, each ending of the squares. So what I did with the top, <coughs> I'm going to do with the bottom. Um, the difference is, oh, I do need to go from that side. I need to actually go from this corner because that starts at the even square, whereas the other end doesn't. So, I have to do, move out of the way. I just need that out of the way briefly. And what I have done is on. This way, I have actually gone down to the 10 centimetre mark, but I'm not going this way because I'm just going to end up causing all sorts of grief. One, two, three, four, five. I'm not cutting all the way through. I'm just using this so I can do a count. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And every now and then there's one that's not clear. Thirteen, fourteen. I think I've got this nicely now. Where I've got, got a good hold on it. So 14, 15, 16. There's a little dot there. That's the middle mark. 16. I'll talk about that in a little bit. Uh, 17, 18. 
26, 28, 29, 30, 31, and 1, 2, 3, 4 squares. Okay, so what I do have is, where is it? 31 and 4. So now I'm just going to rotate that round so it doesn't drop. So how I work that, so now I've got 31, <laughs> put this back on the way down and I'll bring it back up and out. Ay, 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 ay. Just wait while I'm getting you out there. There we go. So what we've got is uh, 31 and 4. I have so many copies of uh, this just to make sure and to make sure I've got everything covered just in case I have to cut pieces off and muck around. Okay, let's move that to the side. What I did do then is from the, the top side of it, I got um, my printing pattern my, and I worked out how many squares across plus however many. So I've got to do that to go the other way. So I will, yet again, so I just saw you guys around, but I'd rather you see um, close up of what I'm doing and it might also help answer some questions that I have had from others. Okay, so what this is, is um, the index sheet which shows the page number and what part of the set picture it's showing. Now, I will bring this up to you. This is what they call the diamond painting picture. Okay, which you can see is 70 on one. I also had it printed out as a bigger. So instead of having seven squares, this has only got four squares. It's only got four squares going across. Then it makes it easier on the eyes. And uh, printed in colour. So what I've done is I've worked out how much I need to take. I need to get rid of that. And we go right across. Hang on. 250, 420, there we go. This, what I've got is this top, what I've got here, I'm just going to hold on to this top row. And you can see I've done the calculation so I've gone, I don't need that square, so I'll be starting at the 40 mark. And then I've worked my way along all these sheets and gone here, I've got to one that plus three, which is what, I'm going to have to do with the other one. The reason why I really make sure that I am accurate is because if you, whoops, I'll cut the picture. If you actually look at the picture, I can't take much off the bottom. I can take some off the top. 
Okay, so that's just, um, I've got to, because it's not as the size that I want it to, I want to make sure that I get as much as I can and not affect the picture too much. And here I am being, being part Italian, you are getting me talking with my hands. <laughs> The hands go flying with me. Yeah. Okay. So I've had some questions in relation to this. And I'm just going to pull up my um, YouTube account and um, oh my, uh, hang on, I'll have to do it here. Have to do it here. Um, just bear with me. Uh, just trying to pull up my com comments, just to try and. How long ago was that question? I was asked about it. Do be with me. Okay, Kathy Brad, who Kathy, phenomenal you comment on my um oh, oh, um I I love the fact that you comment just about on every one of my my um videos. So to answer your questions, you've gone, I realise a blank canvas so won't be charted with symbols, but will it have the grids? So yes, it has the grids. Um, how The next question was, how did you determine how many colours and what colours? I hope these aren't quest stupid questions. Definitely not stupid questions. So I will put the link to, I don't know, whether I'll either put this link through to Threadbare or I'll put the link through to the... Um, designer that I used. It's a web page and, and you just pay I think $9.99 US and then you end up with a your own picture and uh, bear with me I just need to get this in the right angle for you. There. So this is copyrighted by Threadbare licensed to me. So this is a picture that I own. It's mine. It is Threadbare's made it, but it's also mine. Um, so yeah. But what they do is they give you the instructions. Um, but I went into the Threadbare designer site and I popped my picture in, and then you've got um, sliders on the left where you can adjust the amount of colours and the size. And what it does, it will, it put, it, what it does, it again gives you the sizing of it. And you can see here. So if you're a cross stitcher, you've got your ADA, your Hardanger, your Even Weave fabrics. But at the top, estimated completion, completed dimensions, it's approximately 119.5 centimetres by 21, uh, sorry, 71.75 centimetres. Um, pattern size there's how many stitches or stitches tiles in 103 DMC colours. Waiting for it to focus again. Okay, so what you'll find is if you use this site, you can adjust the size and you will actually see the size adjusting and you'll see uh, the resolution look better. You can also select how many colour range you can you want to choose. I could have brought this down to under 90, but I just wanted to put as much colour as I could. Under 90, I would have gotten, it's still a good resolution and good picture, but um, yeah, I had spares. Didn't hurt, you know. I've got a couple of colours here where it's just one colour only required. Um, so that's where that side of it, but remember, if you use this website, and you look at the colours, there is a spot where you will need to, um, hang on, I'll pull up there. Where is it? Okay, 
what I want to do is actually give, give the right wording for it. If you have a look, if you go there, you have your size, then you have your colours, then you have your thread set. There's DMC447 slash CXC DM7 D, or DMC482, Riolis and Anchor. This DMC482 will actually give you um, will actually give you your proper DMC colours. What I might do is, I, I think what I'll do is with this picture itself, I will actually, I think I need to do a how I created this picture. So I'll do a separate um, video on how I created this, um, which I'll actually put the link in for the designer um, into that. And that might actually help. So Kathy, keep an eye out for that one. Right, so I'll continue on from here. What we've got is I've worked out the sideways across. What I now need to do, hang on, I need to get three chart. One, two, three, four, five, six. These are these are all have their page numbers. So if you get them mixed up, you can actually sort them back in. I am only going for, for across the top. I did my only grab the sheets going across. What I need to do now is grab page seven, fourteen, twenty one, and twenty eight. Okay, so fourteen. Sorry, seven. <laughs> and because they're page numbers, I've got no issue. So there's 14. These will be okay to get back in together. 21. And twenty-eight. Right. Oh. Sorry, what I've just looked at is the one that I want to make sure I'm not affecting on here is the feet. So I actually want to go and look at page. 30 and 31 now. To have a look at the bottom to see how much the feet are. So you can actually see it in the camera. So that's one paw and this is the other paw. And remembering that I've got the right on that one. Here's the one I've got on. It's 31 plus 4. So it's 31 lots of 10 and plus 4. So I'm going to do there's my black pink and my one. I want to keep the 4 extra on here. That will I will not end up affecting the pores. So all I need to do is from, I've got this bottom four, four squares, and I just need to grab 31 squares up. Probably easier to explain on the bigger print. This is the big one. Um, 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 where am I going? Page 90. Hang on. Sorry, I'll try and explain what I'm doing here. What I'm going to do is go 84 and 96 and 97 on these, and you'll see what I am. 
the difference in the bigger print. There is a lot more pages to this when it's beefed up into bigger size so it's easier to read. So what I'm looking at is here um, the bottom row so that's the one where it's not a full 10 squares so all I need to do is go one two three four across so the bottom three I won't be using so that's what I was looking at there um, in a way it's a bit hard to try and explain it but um, I want to try and keep as many tens and just only have to affect that bottom by three. I may have to affect the top by more than that. But um, 30 and 31 I will put back on there and get that back together and that one. But here we go. So what we've got is one, two, three, and four. Now I want to work from the bottom up. So what I want to keep is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Okay, so do you know what that tells me? I have more than enough from the top of the canvas to the bottom of the canvas where I actually don't need to cut any off. This is actually, um, so the canvas going down is I have enough. Um, what the canvas actually does give me to is to about this point down here. I don't need to cut anything off. The way I calculated that, just in case I had to, um, that was what I was mainly looking at, but I don't need to affect the bottom of this canvas at all. So there's the good news. Um, what I need to do now that I've, I've worked with the little one, and the reason why I work with the little one first is it's just easier to... Um, yeah. <laughs> well, it's just less pieces of paper to do the initial working um, because on the sheets, let's get it that way. Oh, focus! Seriously, bear with me while I get this camera to focus. It's just not playing fair. There we go. So as you can see at the top, you've got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. So that's what we've got at the top there. Uh, if I go here on the bigger one, when it focuses, focus, there we go. So you can see on this one, it's 10, 20, 30, 40. So this is actually only, yeah, you know, this this one here is double the size of that. Going counting wise, 40. The pages that I don't need on this, I can get the, there it is. I highly like, the, I know that I don't need any of these pages, so I don't need 7, 19, 31, 43, 55, 67 or 79. That row there is completely gone. And I'd say that row there is completely gone as well. Um, I'm going to go and look at my top. So that's where 
because I've got the wrong size canvas, it's causing a bit of a, a muck around. But I'm okay now. I've calmed down and they are giving me a replacement. And I'm going to take benefit of that replacement. Um, so what I will be doing is, now that I've got, actually there we go, there's a better way to do it. So now what I've got is from the 40 mark, I start. Um, that's the bottom. <laughs> I didn't put them back together, get back together, did I? Hang on. So if I go back to this one, I'll put seven back, eight, nine, seventy. Okay. So and the other end, I'm only going to the four thirty three mark. Which going back to the big one. So what I've got here is page 17 and 18, but you can see I'll only have to go to 433, it's not going all the way out, it's only going to, basically it's only going out to there. So yet again, that's another row that I can not have. Um, so that's, I've worked out that I don't need to cut anything from the bottom or the, or the top of the picture. So that's good. Um, I have, I'm not affecting the picture too much in all reality, which is fantastic. I'm just going to put these back in place. 9 and 20, 21, 22, 23, 26, 27, 20, 8, 29. Right. So I now have what is required picture wise. This thing's just going too slow to focus on, on things. Um, I now have my picture sorted out. I know how to go, where to start. I know my starting point. Um, right, I'm just hang on. What I do need to do is... Where is it? Okay. Do need to go through and just find where that 430 mark is across from my big one. But it is, I will be using the big um, put that in the wrong spot. There we go. I will be using the big sheet to work off of the just because it's easier to read. But I need to go to the 430. Three mark, so four hundred. So you can see here, four thirty, and just the three mark. This is where I am going to, which then means this page can be thrown out. Um, which I'm going to go back to this one. So I don't need this row and I don't need this row of okay, So this is where it's going to be much nicer. My starting point will be, this is where I'll show you the compar proper comparison now. My starting point will be, okay, will be from the 40 mark. So the 40 mark is here, or the 40 mark is here. 
So you see the difference between the sizing. And I'll tell you what, that's easier to read than that one. <laughs> less glasses require less use of glasses. So what I will do now is I'm going to go through my big sheet. I'm going to remove all the ones that all the sheets that I don't need and mark down the side of the right side um, where I'm where I'm stopping, and then just getting rid of everything else I don't need. From there, I'll start working on the colours. I'll start putting drills down. What I do need to do is I have actually, and this is where the legend is really, why I have so many copies of the legend. Um, okay. Because I can actually start, I can put a couple of, I can put some drills down on the canvas because I already have them in spares. I already have them. So I wanted to actually put a couple down and see how I feel about it. But yet again, where are we? Zoom on. So my first one that I'll be working with is that approximate sign. And what I need to do is work through and find the approximate which is five two four oh come off it there we go fern gray and I did see the one next to it which is six one three very light drag brown and I actually already have those I think I've got most I think I've got most of those all colours that are required for that first square. So I'm going to start off and do my first square or as much as the first square as I can on camera, but I need to put it on the easel because this is going to be, I'll show you, I need to set up so you can actually see it. So um, I'll be back very shortly, only a second for you guys, and I'll be completely in a different, a different setup. Okay, so now I've set up with, um, my canvas is up on the easel. I have, and it's clamped up there, and I have the big printout, yeah, big printout, so that I can work with that tad easier. I also, hang on, I need that to be on the, it to I also, on the very right over here, I've got a bead map that's also helping hold up the canvas. I did go through and although I don't have all of the colours, I do have some of the colours and I've pulled them out so that I can do a little bit of work on it. And <laughs> there you go, you're in place. So it's really funny, I've got everything organised except for a chalk pen. And a tray because it's up top corner. Come on off! I didn't cut that all the way through, thankfully. And it's just a case of working from. Well, I need to do something else, a different way about that. How about? This is me thinking on the go. I need that a tag closer. <laughs> so here we go. What I've got is, um, I can't use a tray. Oh, there. Start with the symbols, I suppose. And, sorry, I'm in the way. Not that one. Very light, very grey. And I will 
look like. Glasses on, where have I hidden them? There they are. So, the first wear. One, two, three, four. So, three and a gap. Three and a one. So two and then two. And I've just dropped it here. Okay, you have hands. Hang on a sec. Okay, that's a bit better. So what I've got is that one. That one, that one, that one, and that one on. And that's the way I'm going to have to work it. So basically I'm going to do a 10 by 10 square. One, two, and yeah, that's three, four across. And I've got one more of those, which is, oh no, two more. So that is, I know, one more there. There and there. Okay. One, two, three, and across one. One, two, three, and across one. One, two, three, and across one. This is going to be very time consuming. So. When I start going like this, this will be time lapsed. There is no way <laughs> does anybody want to sit there and watch this. Okay. I've got one down, two, three, and the fourth one in. Three blanks and the fourth one in. One, two, three blanks. There. Need to have three blanks and then one, two, three, four. Yeah. Okay, so I've got one, two, and then I've got, I want to go down uh, three, I want to go down three blanks, one, two, three, and I've just put one, two, three, that's down too far on one, I just move that up. So that's that one. Oh, and then I want to go one diagonal, di directly diagonal across, and then one beside that. So this is definitely not a night shift one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's in the right position. So one, two, three, four. Space along on the bottom of that. There we go, I've just dropped another drill. Okay, and bottom row, four point. So that is the process for that I'll need to quite follow for each one of these symbols. So that was, what was that one? Light, very light fern glass. Next colour, very light drug brown. <laughs> and that's actually one of the things, I think by the time I get to the end of this, I will know quite a few colour names are looking. One, two. Uh, where's the next one of this? One, two, three, four, five. Five, so it's going there. Second one.
So it's directly below that one, three spaces. So it's directly below that, three spaces. And then across from that, I've got that. Yep. Um, down the bottom. So there is that one. And that's it for there. Now, I don't have all of the colours for this square, but I will get some of it in. I'm trying to work out whether I need to mark these off as I go. Medium beige grey. Oh. So there we go, like on the labels. Put a bit on there. And here's that one. And then there's those two. Woohoo! I have the top first ten. Um, that one there. Second one, and then a gap. Dropped another drill. Okay. Diagonally across to the left with that one. It's there. Um, I do have these that gap of two next to that. There and one in between, and that one and that one. Okay. That square down there. Okay. Come on. Bottom square. There, I've got to do one across from that to there. Okay, I'm going to. I am going to have to do it. Um, so I've got the top row is done. I've done. Those four. Now I've done that one. I've done those three. Done that one and that one. I've done those symbols. I've done that and that. I've done those three. I've done that one. And I've got that one. And I've done that one. Yeah, it, I think it will be a case of marking off as I go, because just then I just picked up that I haven't done these two symbols here, which is that one. Definitely is a mark off as you go. Um, there. And there. Can you imagine missing a symbol and having to go again? And I've got one more. You have missing sim you have fun missing sim symbols when you actually have symbols on the chart on the on the canvas. Just imagine what it's going to be like without symbols on the canvas. Okay. So that's it for that colour. have light moss green and I have one of these on this which is that one there <laughs> I 
Square within a square, within a square, within a square. Um, pine green. Pine. That's, that one there looks diagonal across from there. Four down to the end. That one. Three down, four in. That one. One, two, three, four, five down, four across. One, two, three, four, five, and four across. And Five and two from the bottom, one, two, three, four, five, two, check one in the bottom. That looks like it for that one. I might find a different highlighted colour, I don't know whether it's green for green for it for me. Um, forest green, which is the stars. Star is four down, four across. Sound like a jigsaw puzzle. Four down, four across. Where's that one? And one, two, three down, one, two, three. Two going down on the second again. Oops, that's upside so down. Oh, come on, be nice to me. I'm going to have to straighten that one up, aren't I? And that one. There. It's those two. And one more in there. And that's it for the side. Okay. I have. Did I make the pewter? Did I see that? No. Oh, I guess I did make the pewter. Pewter. Um. Pewter. 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 Down, third is the middle, four down. Oof, not looking straight, are they? Just grab my straightener. Just to straighten them up a bit. Okay, so I'm just going to uh, just time that the rest of this bit. Um, I won't. I don't have all the colours, but I'll come. I'll time lapse what I've got left of those colours that I can put in. Okay. 
Okay, so that's all the colours I have using my leftover drills. Let's drop that back. Okay, so I've done. Yeah, fair enough. What I will do is cover this up and put it away, and then when uh, my, all my the drills arrive, I will then finish my kitting up, and then I will get on with the getting this job done. But hopefully, um, it gives you a little bit of idea what it's like to work. Um, with a blank canvas and I will put through the, I will do a recording of actually creating one of these so that you can actually watch it step by step on how I, um, I did this. Um, but hopefully you like that. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Leave me a comment. Um, if you want to watch more of this obviously hit the subscribe button if you want to get notified. Hit the bell. Um, I will say thank you for watching. This is going to be an interesting project. I have, hang on, what have I got? 31 by, oh. how many squares do I go across? Well, I've got a bucket load. I might calculate it and I'll actually put it on the screen here if, if, if I remember to calculate it and put it up there. Okay, so hopefully you enjoyed that and yeah, watch out for this one coming through to you as a time lapse. Thanks for watching. Bye.